The way light works is that it is ultimately one specific type of electromagnetic phenomenon. Waves in the electric and magnetic fields that are created by charged particles. These waves travel through a vacuum at 300 million meters per second. A pulse of light could travel around the Earth's equator seven times in one second. The wave model of light was deemed insufficient at the turn of the 20th century when experiments revealed phenomena that the wave theory of light couldn't seem to explain. Albert Einstein, then working in the patent office, proposed a particle model of light, not to replace the wave model, but to complement it. This was the first instance of what came to be known in physics as the wave-particle duality. Perception of color is produced by light waves with different wavelengths. And when you combine wavelengths, you get more colors still. I have to point out that color is a construction of the brain. Color doesn't exist outside our brain. Different colors seem to be able to evoke different emotional responses, not unlike an aroma might, if that aroma is associated with a particular person or a particular location the smell of my grandmother's cooking. Color has the same effect on people. It, it somehow gets tied into their emotional state. History says that humanity's knowledge always, regardless of the discipline, is extremely small compared to the unknown. And it'll probably always stay that way, even with things we think are well understood. I think our current understanding of light will grow. One of the best aspects of humans is curiosity, and humans are curious about different things. Some people are curious about how to make a great film, how to write a great book. Myself, I'm curious about the natural world. Our understanding of light has helped lead to wireless communications. We now know how to encode information in invisible light. You want other examples? Medical diagnostics. I don't turn on the radio without hearing a commercial for LASIK surgery. At one point, if you had to do surgery on the stomach, you had to cut people open. Now, some types of problems can be treated with fiber optics. This is where human curiosity turned out to be good, not just for understanding the nature of the universe, but for making things that make life maybe a little easier to bear, and make it even more interesting and more pleasurable.